So the OnePlus 12 has been an extraordinary smartphone in 2024. It has been my most recommended smartphone to anyone that want a piece of a phone at a price of a mid-ranger. But that's something to that happen. Something to that happen. Android 15, I just got the update. So as you know, OnePlus has been on top of the game for the past few years. But now, devices like the OnePlus 12 just got Android 15 and it got a price drop to $649. And that's before trade-ins. So you know what? It makes it very difficult to buy anything else, right? So I've been using Android 15 on the OnePlus 12 for about 30 minutes and I turned on the camera. So let me give my thoughts so far having this update less than an hour. Sit back, relax, and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. So the OnePlus 12 is a beautiful, powerful smartphone that just got better with Android 12. So far, it looked like I got smoother animations. Now, better life I had to test. Uh, looked like the home screen been revamped a little bit with better look at icons and some themes and wallpapers. So let me show you some demos here of me using the OnePlus 12, right, for about 30 to 45 minutes. So check this out. All right, so here it is. In this comparison, I'm gonna compare Android 14 versus Android 15. This is gonna be the OnePlus 12. This is gonna be the OnePlus 9. And the reason why I don't wanna put the OnePlus 11 against the OnePlus 12 is because if you're, going, if you're on a upgrade cycle, uh, you'll have a OnePlus 8 or OnePlus 9. So the OnePlus 9 is on Android 14. So I wanna compare and contrast Android 14 on an older device compared to Android 15 on a newer device. Okay guys, so let's go over some of the things here uh, on the new Android 15 that's on the OnePlus 12. So I just downloaded it. So I haven't took it to a, a full test ride yet, but I wanna give you guys my thoughts so far. First, let's talk about performance. OnePlus 12 performance is absolutely amazing. So no issues with performance, absolutely. Actually, the performance have gotten a, a little better, look like um, uh, over the few hours that I've just downloaded Android 15. But let's look at some of the things I've kind of saw once I um, downloaded Android 15. And uh, some of the things that I, I noticed once, once I go to uh, hold press the home screen is wallpapers and some of the icons is different here coming from uh, 14 to 15. Uh, that you can't see here so you do see some of the icons that's different more pronounced here more pronounced here when you go to wallpaper this is what i like right so you do have uh, wallpapers is a little different right the whole application is a little different uh you got classic live uh stuff like that and, and uh, you have some new wallpapers here that i mean i absolutely love it right so uh some of the wallpapers that i've seen here is some of the newer wallpapers here. So it's more simplified, right? Just kind of sliding through instead of uh, like this. Uh, it's just kind of sliding through, but you do have some new stuff here. Some of the things I did see was the icons, right? You see that the uh, the icons is a little different. Uh, you have your art icons here. You could toggle it on and you can, you can see that it does have some new stuff here right compared to uh android 14 as you can see right so it does have some new stuff and the layout is a little different right uh the bar is a little longer here compared to uh your know, android 14. uh when you go into setting you see some things are different right the icons is different uh it look like they took away the bubbles right and they just went with the uh this nice little theme here, right? A pretty theme. And listen, I just did the upgrade here. So uh, this is not themed out. This don't have any uh, launcher on it or nothing. This is going to be stock. All right. Compared to 14 or 15. Uh, Y'all guys can see that it is a little different there. Now, one of the things that I did notice, and I absolutely love this wallpaper, by the way. It's nice, bright, and vivid. Um, the always on display right always on display is is a little different when you um 
click on it here. As you can see, it's a little different there. Okay. All right. Look at that. And I'm sure I'm sure you can change uh, the fonts and all that stuff like that. Uh, but this is right right from uh, the update. Right. Just uh, taking it straight from the update. Okay, guys, so one of the things that I did notice uh, coming from Android 14 to Android 15, this is the OnePlus 12, is that in the photo app, and I just took two photos, and uh, looking at some of the newer things that I'm seeing here, some things kind of changed up a little bit. So when you hit the hamburger bar, look like they got converted to PDF. I'm not sure if I've ever seen that. Uh, this Again, this is uh, 14 and this is 15. So uh, I'm sure that it that it probably was there before and they took it away and it, they added it back. So it looked like that's back. I don't know if I want to convert this photo into a PDF, but that's there for you. Okay, and one of the things that I did notice that you do, you do have your AI features available. Uh, 14, you had crop, rotate, adjust, filter, mock-up and stuff like that. Here you just have crop, adjust, filter, and now you have AI, okay? Uh, now you have AI stuff here. If you want to remove people, if you want to smart lasso, kind of remove the object from the background uh, and you want to paint over and stuff like that. So there's a new AI feature here, which is AI eraser. Uh, don't see it here on the uh, on the 14. So you do see some AI stuff here, um, but they look like they took away some stuff here. If you go here to retouch and all that stuff, so you have remover uh, and you have blur, uh, but that's not here anymore. So that that feature looked like it's been removed on Android 15 compared to Android 14. So one of the trolling features that OnePlus did in the OnePlus 15 compared to OnePlus 14 is in the calculator app. <laughs> just want to show you guys this real quick. So this is Android 14. This is Android 15. So in the calculator app, uh, if you click one plus equal, it's going to troll you with never settle, right? Kind of Easter egg. Uh, again, this is 14. If I do one plus equal, it's not going to do anything. So uh, it's just kind of a troll, a troll Easter egg uh, that's pretty neat on the, the OnePlus 12 with Android 15. Okay, so one of the things I noticed coming from Android 14 to Android 15, this is the OnePlus 12, is in the notification shade. Okay, once you download, I mean, once you swipe down the notification shade, uh, look like, again, you see some different stuff here. Uh, in the notification shade, okay? Uh, and if you swipe all the way down, and again, you have something that if it's not, uh, listen, I know this is Android 14 and this is Android 15, but some of this stuff is pretty much the same as when I had the OnePlus 12. And one of the things that I noticed um, once I downloaded Android 15, okay, uh, is let me see if I can go here. Okay, when you hit the three buttons here, uh, you do have your floating window on, on both of them, but look like they moved it a little bit. You got your floating window and your split screen here at the top uh, compared to uh, right here. Okay, so let's go down and, and let me show you guys a little difference here uh, with the calculator app that I got right here uh, with the floating window. So when I click on float window, it pops up here. It's kind of different here. So uh it floated with a kind of with a little smaller here on 14 compared to 15. And obviously you can make adjustments here. You could just click on it, but it's not as big as uh, the one here. So that's what I'm seeing on this one with it. And you can minimize it here. Okay. Ah, so look at that. You can minimize it there and it's right there. Okay. So you can minimize it and I don't have no way to minimize this here. Okay. So that's minimize. Okay, and you can bring it back. All right, that's pretty neat there. So there's a, you can minimize it and it goes away right there, right? But it's still there, but you can't minimize it here. So that is pretty neat. I can see myself using this. And let's see if we go to split screen. Okay, we can go to split screen. All right, and choose another app. Just say choose another app. So we go choose another app for the split screen. Okay, and uh, let's see, did I did I minimize my photos? Yes. Let's see if I go to another one right there. Okay, cool. We can go to my Telegram. Okay. 
All right, so it's telling me I can enlarge it and stuff like that. I can flip flop. All right, so here it is, right? This is going to be the normal split screen. You can go from bottom to top, and obviously you got your three bars there. Oh, look at that. You can swap sides here, but now you have a new menu here. It's expand, full screen, switch apps, close app. All right, so you do have another menu that's popping up here uh, compared to Android 14. So that's something. I never saw this before, so this is going to be something different. And it says switch apps. Okay, so you can switch your app. You can expand it. Okay, and go from, ah, yeah, look at that. Okay, so usually you just have to, you could take it and do that, right? And I'm sure you could still do that, okay? Uh, but that there's just a button there that can make it easier, faster. And uh, yeah, you could swap apps. Boom. Put that here. Swap apps. Okay, oh, okay. You can add another app there. Okay, and uh, go from there. So it's full screen. And that just gives you the option to swap apps. Pretty cool. But if you have a OnePlus device and you have not received any updates in a while and it didn't pop up on your, on your screen to do an update, let me show you how to do an update on your OnePlus device. Scroll down right here. Go to your settings. Okay, right here, uh, you just want to search update. Right. And uh, when you search update, this is what you're going to see. OK, when you search update and go to system and updates uh, and go to system updates here. OK, let's do the same here. OK, system updates right there. And it's going to check and see if your device is eligible for an update. Going to check uh, for update. Click this here. Sometimes you might have to click it twice. Okay, and I always like to click it twice to make sure that I'm fully updated. So this is Android 15 on the OnePlus 12. Once again, this is the early stages of the update. I have to do more testing. I absolutely love it so far. If you want to get a OnePlus 12 at a rock bottom price, I will leave links down in the description below. And if you want to see more videos of the OnePlus 12, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That's what I'm talking about. The OnePlus 12, baby. This is an absolutely beast of a phone. This is Actor Tech Preacher. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the OnePlus 12 and all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.